Hi guys! So today's video is a interesting video. It's a haul video but with a twist. Okay, so I recently uh, went to Zara during the sale. I was really proud of myself that I came out with just one orange suit that I really wanted. But then I went online and this happened. <laughs> so I thought I should do a video like this, which I've actually been wanting to do for a while, which is how to make the most of sales and um, kind of show you what I got as well. Are you ready? Okay, before I show you the items, the first tip I want to give you guys is actually do this, do this, not film a haul video, but actually like try the stuff at home. Okay, so um, this is something I follow with all the stuff I buy in stores A, because I feel like the stores always have mirrors that are more flattering than our real like actual mirrors and I just feel like in a sale there's always like a lot of people there's a rush you have to try on things really quickly and in that little cubicle or changing room I can somehow um, you know it's very difficult to be like I love this I don't love it and you just buy things in haste and then you you don't know what to do with them later so I always feel like I buy the stuff I come home I try it peacefully in front of my mirror uh, you know ask for opinions if I want them and then if I don't like it I can still return it and very often this helps with skipping the lines also so I don't really try stuff at all if there's a crazy line I just get the stuff home try it and then I return whatever doesn't fit um, because it's just much more peaceful and you actually try the clothes properly okay that's tip number one okay so the first thing I got are these cargo shorts okay I've been wanting a pair of these for a while like I'm really into like longer Bermudas now I'm actually wearing like my, my cutoffs which I cut my jeans off in the pandemic to uh, make something like this but I saw these and I really really like this now the next tip for you guys is stock up on basics okay so basics like your white tees black tees your uh, you know denim stuff jeans shorts I feel like for me uh, I have not been able to shake off like pandemic sherry which is denim shorts and an oversized t-shirt I live in that on most days and I find like you know I'm like why am I buying all these really pretty fancy dresses and stuff when I don't really wear them that much I'm living in denim shorts so I need more denim shorts so that was this is what started this whole haul by the way because I was like I need more denim shorts now this um Originally was almost 5,000 rupees guys. This is 4,990. Now I would have never bought these at 5,000 rupees. I saw them on full price and then I was like, uh, yeah, don't need shorts for 5,000 rupees. But then on sale, one second, I'll have to tell you the price because they're not on the shorts. I'm going to have to open the app to give you guys a breakdown. I've done a lot of research guys for this video. There's a phone, there's a diary, there's clothes. Yeah, so these were 1590, about 1600 after discount, which is pretty amazing. So got these. I think I'm gonna keep them because I really like how they fit. Like I think it would be even cool to do them with like a you know a corset and maybe like heels, um, like on a night out also. Like I really like these. What do you guys think? Keep or return? I think I'm gonna keep them. Then we have uh, denim option number two. I got these. These are pretty much exactly like the ones I'm wearing. Okay, like I'm gonna stand up. Uh, those are my sh my actual like jeans that I cut, and um, it's actually shameful when I tried them. I was like, oh my god. Other than this pocket detail, they're identical to what I already own. So I think I'm gonna return these because uh, I ordered them as an option, honestly. Because what I do is. When I also the, the next tip is when you order with like sale items order multiple sizes or like different options of the same thing because you're not you might not get it later uh, with the sale things like set out really quickly. I would have ordered the, the cargo shorts in two sizes actually because I wasn't sure if they're too small because only the smallest size was available. So I ordered this as like like plan B because I really need more denim shorts. So I was like if that doesn't fit at least these will. These were for 3,290 rupees full price. Down to the same price, 1590. So obviously I think it's worth getting those over these because those were five grand down to this. This is like, yeah, I'm being uh, cheap, I know, but like more paisa vasuli in those and those have more pockets and they look cooler. So I think I'm going to 
return these another basic i got is this really cool cropped white shirt now um white shirts are something that never go out of fashion it's always nice to have like one great white shirt i usually have like two or three in my you know wardrobe at times like longer shorter i don't really have a cropped one like this and i kind of like this i thought it was really cool again on full price this was 4990 5000 rupees for a white shirt which i would have not spent a uh, full price ever i would just be like nah i don't need it uh, but on discount this was 1590 which is great for you know like a nice white shirt so this is what i mean by i say stock up on your basics that uh, you can use for years to come and also that are timeless so it's not really like a you know a print or like you're like oh my god this like the you know the, a lot of the printed dresses you see like right now after the Zara sale everywhere I, I see people I know the dresses that are from Zara <laughs> people are wearing I'm like oh I saw that in the sale I saw that in the sale because they're prints with classics like this like solid colors you can't really tell uh, you know where it's from and it looks really cool when you wear it and it's like worth the price so Stock up on your basics, get multiple sizes, moving on. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the item that I got the biggest discount on. 81% guys, 81%. Yes, my friends, there are discounts like that. Uh, this dress, which I'm going to show you, uh, was for 10,990, okay, which is 11,000 pretty much. And it was down to 1990, literally 2000 bucks. Okay, now... Um, my tip here for you guys is that there are always crazier discounts at the end. Okay, so they start with 40 to 50 percent and then they go into like the 60, 70, 80, 90 and you'll find pieces like this which you would never buy. Like I would, this is a beautiful, very nice classic uh, dress. It looks black but it's actually like a green, like ink green, like a really dark, you know, green black vibe. Um, it's a, just a nice basic dress with this really interesting tie detail on the back so you can adjust the straps and it's got these gold you know things on the back which are quite like nice um and i feel like this is something i would have never bought full price but i'm a sucker for big discounts and again this sticks all my boxes right it's classic it will last me for years i can keep wearing it um and it's like one of those things you could wear like to a formal thing you could wear it like on a day out with a t-shirt inside and sneakers for that like cool vibe and like you'll get a lot of wear out of it because it's not printed as i said you can pair it with multiple things and it looks really cool and it was on 81 percent off like how do you say no to that what do you guys think? Keep or return? I think I'm gonna keep it. The next tip, as I said, is even if you're going funky, jazzy, like cool with stuff, keep it like solid, stick to solid colors, like one color. I got this silver dress. Now this was something I've been eyeing for a while, okay? It's like really cool. I don't know where I'm wearing this dress because I'm definitely not wearing it to walk Mars. And uh, it's just, uh, it's just really cool. Like I felt like I don't have something really, really cool in my wardrobe right now. And that's just a solid excuse I'm making right now to have bought this dress. And it's not the comfiest. It's very stiff when you wear it. And it's like, you, you know, like you do the bit of a penguin walk because there's not much like given the dress. But it's silver. It would look so cool with a t-shirt inside with sneakers like on the funky, like some funky kind of an event or even just like this classic with like cool shoes. And so even if you want to go funky, still keep it solid. Like don't do prints and stuff. Like I feel like this is something I really, really like thought was worth it. It was originally 4990. Clearly all the prices are 4990. And can you guess what it was down to? It's down to 1990 guys, 2000 rupees almost. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just feel like it's really cool. I'm still on the fence about this dress. Like I like the way it feels, but I just know it's not practical and it's like very like penguin walk situation and not very comfortable, but it looks really cool. What do I do? Okay, keeping in mind the same principles, I ordered some other nice dresses that are basic and solid like this one. 
uh, which I mean could easily be mistaken for a nice nighty, but uh, it's not a nighty. It's a dress. But I feel like when you wear, when I wore it, it didn't give me like the cool feel. Like I saw it in the pictures, it looked a lot cooler. In person, it does look a bit nighty-ish, is what I feel. Again, this was three thousand nine hundred and ninety, which is basically four thousand down to 1590 down to 1600 but i don't particularly love this and i feel like i'm most likely going to return this i tend to buy a lot of black because i feel like black is always the safest and you use it for years and as i said you get more wear out of it but i don't really think i'm going to be keeping this not loving this this one again solid discount okay so 3990 down to 990 okay it has this lovely fringe detail which I thought is amazing and I love the fringe detail and I love that this is knit so the top half fits really well. The only issue I have is this, you know, the part that actually um, stitches the, uh, you know, this thing onto this thing is really stiff. So when you wear it, it's like a bit boxy on the bottom and I'm not so sure about this. But again, I thought it's like an iconic, you know, jazz dress and it looks really nice and would be really nice on a night out. Uh, I've had many of these kind of dresses in the past. I do like a good fringe and I like that, you know, twirl and then the fringe looks amazing and all that. But I don't know how it'll wash. I feel like it'll all get tangled in the wash and um, I won't really use it a lot and also I'm not so sure of the boxy hemline like I don't know if I really love it so I think I'm gonna return this what do you guys think okay the next tip for you guys would be get multiple uh, pieces in one style or multiple sizes as I said earlier because uh, in a sale you're not likely to get the same thing again now I found this really cool thing that I wanted they didn't have multiple sizes there was just one piece left in each so I got them so we have these shorts which is a denim print they're not really denim like they're just I guess like cotton or whatever fabric and uh, not cotton uh, but they're like fabric with uh, a print of like denim shorts on them now these were originally 2590 and they are down to 1590 not much of a discount and then there was also a really pretty skirt version of the same which was satin uh, so this the shorts are not really satin you can see them side by side uh, this is a more rugged rough everyday material these this is like more shiny and silky and really really pretty and i already wore this on my birthday guys so this is definitely being kept so this is 2990 down to 790 yes i got it on a massive discount and it's totally totally worth it i think i really liked i got a lot of compliments even on my birthday when i wore it lots of people were like oh i like your skirt and yeah so i think i'm gonna keep the skirt for sure obviously the skirt has been kept worn used washed i'm um, not so sure about the shorts i don't think there's much of a discount and i don't think they're very flattering and um once you have the style in one thing i don't know if you really need it in another thing so i'm thinking return you thinking then we have these okay so these are kind of formal ish uh cargo trousers so they are like a nice brown but they the fabric is more like shiny and more like your formal trousers and these were originally uh, 3390 down to 1790 I do like the fit of these and I feel like they might be cool I don't wear a lot of pants anymore it's literally I think shorts dresses and jeans occasionally which is why I thought like I'm these might be nice to get to just break that with without wearing like something heavy or uh, crazy and also they're kind of cool like I like that whole formal trouser casual look vibe going right now and I like how they fit so I think I'm gonna keep these but I am not sure what do you guys think okay now I'm gonna also show you what I bought in store the orange blazer and uh, like the the whole set basically I saw this blazer ages ago while I was just randomly browsing with Ebov in the store when it was on full price and I was like oh my god it's orange I want it and like whatever but I'm not someone that buys blazers coats all my winter coats my like stuff is all never bought full price because I know I live in Bombay I'm not gonna get that much use out of it uh, they have amazing amazing discounts so like puffer jackets or if you need like a nice trench coat now is the time to buy it or even blazers I always buy my blazers on sale so for example 
my uh, pink suit okay which is also from zara bought on sale ages ago the the one the sleeveless one with the pink pants and the pink you know sleeveless blazer i've gotten so much wear out of it you guys have seen me wear it 200 times and this is orange so now i thought it would be nice cuz i can mix and match the pink and orange in color block or i can wear like the orange is just orange because i loved it so i got obviously the blazer which is really really nice now things like this are going to sell out really quickly so you have to kind of i think act on them really fast and get them like this was in in store which is why i bought this originally 8590 down to 3990 so for a blazer that is pretty amazing price wise um, fits really well the color is really beautiful love this and obviously i got the trousers because i thought like i like to do like a proper trouser suit uh trousers were not on much of a discount 2290 down to 1990 but of course it's the set that matches and it looks really nice together so got them and there was also a skirt option so i got the skirt as well because i thought i'll get more wear out of it if i kind of mix and match with the skirt and the trousers if you know what i mean and the skirt was only 1590 from 2 Nine nine zero. So there was more of a discount on this guy, and it was really cute. So yeah, stock up on your blazers, your coats, your jackets, stuff that you shouldn't be buying full price because you can definitely save on that. Always in the sales, and they always have like massive, massive discounts on this stuff. So it's worth buying during the sale. That's when I buy all my winter stuff, all my blazers. So guys, that is all the stuff that I got from the Zara sale. I'm not keeping all of it. Uh, what should I keep and what should I return? Comment below and tell me what you liked on me and what you didn't. And I hope that the advice and the tips that I shared with you help you shopping. uh when you're on during a sale and you know stuff like that cuz i know it's really like tempting and overwhelming and you're like oh my god i need this i need this i need this i need this and then uh, very often we come home and we're like why did i do that you know or they're in our cart online and then you just order and then you're like why did i do that so uh think about it you know take each item through the checklist of do i need it am i going to use it how much better am i going to get out of it should i get something classic should i get something cool and then get it So guys I hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful give it a thumbs up and as I said comment below with what I should keep and what I should return and I will see you guys soon bye